it's another beautiful day and it's a blessed day and i'm so happy to be on another edition of insight with nova so i'm using this medium to welcome you to another episode of insight with nova and on today's episode i'm going to be talking about contentment yeah i mean it contentment as the word sound contentment contentment comes from the word content to be content with what you have to be contented with what you have so contentment in the real sense means you getting pleased with what you have you 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 what you have you you getting okay by it you are not you are not moved by what other people have you are just okay with the things you have so let's go to the main discussion let's and let's leave um, the meaning of contentment so i'm really going to be pointing this topic to we youth yeah we, we youth because it's it's really speaking to most of we youth of nowadays you see people running after what they cannot afford because they want people to see them they want people to know that they are also slain why should you kill yourself for what you can't afford why should you do things that you are not meant to do for what you cannot afford and again the position we are on is different Our fingers are not equal it's not equal and it has been like that and it would never change our fingers are not equal in real sense our life is not equal it doesn't mean okay i have some of my age mates that are that have a house at this age that i am and in the real sense i've not even gotten a land that is just it so i should now start saying i want to start running after land i'm going to kill myself because it's not like i have a work right now that can get me a land you do things according to the stages in your life we one thing i notice in life is that the more you run after things the more the things run away from you things happen when the time is right things happen when the time is right you you don't you don't jump things life is step by step you don't jump from kindergarten to the university no it's not like that it doesn't work that way you start from the scratch let's look at the life of most of the people that have made that make it in life that they are big now big men and women they start from the scratch you you don't jump you don't jump to the peak of anything in life okay we are talking about this lady nowadays we say we ladies most ladies nowadays just want to sleep fine no one is telling not to sleep but slay with the little you have that's the main message slay with the little you have you don't have to start doing things that you are not supposed to do because you want to slay because this dress comes out and you want to buy it this dress that comes out now that you're running after buying it within months that is the funniest thing within months people would have stopped wearing that dress and another one would come out new things will keep on coming out every day how many do you want to buy how many do you want to get so if we are looking at it that way if you if you start looking at life in that perspective you will see that this life is very very simple you stop running after things that doesn't even make value to your life being materialistic in life it's 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 very bad like you okay let's talk about this guys now you see your your friends buying ride and you you want you're running after okay i want to buy this ride i want to buy this ride i want to get this car my friend you're going to kill yourself you're going to dip your hands into what you are not supposed to dip your hands into you are going to get yourself into trouble eventually because you don't know where they are getting their money from you, 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 don't, you don't know the things they've gone through before they could get that right. It's not everyone that's getting their money legally. And it's not all of us that can do things illegal, illegally. It's not everyone that can, can, that can do illegal things to survive. So, I, I don't know. Okay, let's say, okay, your friend is um, stealing around. You don't know that that is what he does. He goes around maybe midnight when you are sleeping as your comfort zone sleeping and snoring you don't know if he doesn't sleep if he goes around jumping from one house to another 
making them cry collecting their money. And you, when you now see him, because he's winning, you are now thinking, ha, when we meet now by car now, where will I now do this now? You will get yourself killed. And again, this head is different. What I do, it might even be a, a legal thing the person is doing. Okay, it doesn't mean I start this business now. And the thing is moving well for me. It doesn't mean you will start it and the thing will move well for you. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. We, 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 can, we all cannot do the same thing and it will work for us. That is one thing you, you have to know. We all cannot do the same thing and it will work for us. Some people, there is nothing they venture into. There is no business they venture into that doesn't work for them. And there are some people that no matter how they try, if they've not gotten to the business or the job they are supposed to do, no matter how hard they try, it's not going to work for them. So you are not, for, you are not contented with the type of business you are doing. You say that, okay, I'm selling clothes and I'm making it, I'm, I'm making it so well in that, in that business. And you now say you that you are selling jewelry. You want to start selling clothes. It doesn't work that way. You might start selling and the next thing is you will run into debt. Be contented with the little you have. Have hope that things are going to work well for you. Have hope that at the end of the day, you are going to be grateful for being contented. You see some people doing prostitution for years and their life is glowing, they are blooming. But you, you, you see some people, they just venture into the prostitution and that first day they get killed or they, they, get, they, they, they come in contact with the disease, disease that is going to kill them. We all are different. Our lives are different. We, we, we can't say because people are doing it and it's working for them that it's going to work for you. It goes, this goes in line with everything in life. It doesn't mean I pass through this path, it works for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So if you now say, okay, because I passed through this path, you now get jealous, you now say, okay, that path that she passed, let me go through it too. You might end up with what you, you never bargained for. You, you just have to keep working towards your goals. Don't, don't, don't ever give up. That is what I would say. No matter what you're doing, like, don't ever give up. Things are going to be okay. If everything is rough now, it doesn't mean things are going to be rough forever. You just have to keep on open and just be contented with the little you have for now. The little you have for now, be contented with it. Because the funny thing about life is that no matter how rich you are, you can never get contented. No matter, that is why they will tell you, a rich person will always want more. And that is just true. No rich person wants is or our wealth to diminish they want it to grow they want it to be much more so if as na, by now you not start running over the things that and that are not even worth it what what would be your gain if if everything now now now, now goes wrong for you you just have to learn to to be pleased with what you have. You know that your parents cannot afford this thing for now. Don't trouble them about it. It doesn't mean you have a caring father, your house is great, everything about your life is going on well, and my life is not going on. Maybe I don't have a father, and things are not going well for me. And I have a friend whom I know that by when he or she needs something, the father will get it in the blink of an eye. So I now start speaking thinking about things and all that, okay, ah, me too. Will I, go and, will I go and get a father by force? Or maybe I have a father and my father cannot even afford it. Will I kill him? You see so many people living the life their parents cannot, that their parents are not even living. Their parents don't have anything. And then they are living the life that when you see their parents, be like, ah, is, this per is, the, is this person, so this is how this person parents. This is how they are. And they, the way they are living, you, you would have believed they are from a very, very big and large home. Things doesn't work that way. The little you have, try and, try and just be pleased with it. If it's Gary you, can have, you could afford, just drink it. Okay, now you feel like it happens. You feel like taking something, it might be very expensive. And sometimes you just sit down and you'll be thinking, ah, I feel like going out. 
treating myself out. And maybe in your course, you know that you don't have more than 15 naira. You now start saying, some people will just look at them or they will now start calling people. Hey, please, borrow me money. I want to do it, use it for something important. What is the stupid important thing you want to use it for? You want, because, because you want to go out, you want to snap pictures, you start borrowing money. Hey, I want to borrow. You start borrowing money. And at the end of the day, to pay that debt will now become a problem. You just have to learn to live a simple life. Live a simple life. I will repeat again. Live a simple life. You don't have to live large before you enjoy life. Being contented gives one this inner peace that nothing else can give. Because if you are not contented, you will always keep on thinking and thinking and thinking. And you will just be thinking and believing that everything around you isn't working well. That is one thing I bless God for my life. I'm, I'm always contented. Like, seriously. This contentment of a thing, it's, it's, God really blessed me with it. Like, if I have fine, I will leave it. If I don't have fine, there was, I remember during my handy days, I, if I have money, what I use my money for then is food. Me, I cannot come and keep myself. I don't, uh, it's food. I don't play with my stomach. So I have, and my friend will just be like, ah, you and food. Can't you buy clothes? And I'll be like, no, I should be wearing clothes and I should be hungry, Abby. It's okay. Me, I will eat all. Ah, if I feel like eating anything, I'll make sure I cook it and I eat it. Once I have the money, I will not say, okay, because I now want to buy these trousers now. I, I will now play, leave my tummy. I will now leave my stomach. I will now leave it. And I'll be hungry. Or I will now be wearing fine clothes around. I don't do that. Me, I would. Because for, at that moment, that is the priority. That is what I feel as my priority. I don't, I don't take material things as priority. Mm -mm -mm. I, don't, I don't. Because I know there will be a time that I'm going to have everything abundantly like that everything would be sufficient everything will be much so why should i now start rushing when i'm not going to russia no 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 no. i take life step by step we have to learn to take life step by step and seriously if you start taking life step by step you will see that things will start falling into places because you won't be worried about things that you are not supposed to be worried about you, you won't you won't feel you won't feel the urge to start doing things that doesn't concern you. So that okay, there will be so, some people now. Maybe they hear there's a party somewhere. You know you can't afford the dress code. Maybe they say okay, wear white white, and you don't have white white. You now start looking around for money to get the white white because you want to go to all white party. Who does that? Who does it? It's, it's not right at all. Like, seriously, it's not right. You, you, you want to get things that you know you cannot afford at that moment by fire, by force. It doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. You, you, don't, you don't have to be going out of line to get things that you can't afford at the moment. Be just the little you can afford. If it's, let's say, let's talk about clothing as a lady. If it's okrika you can afford, this is bend down select. Get it. Just know how to combine your things together and look good always. And if you can afford new wears, get it. And new wears are more expensive than each other. I can buy this, my own trousers, and I will say it's new. I can buy it 1,000. And you see some people say, ah, they bought their own 3,000. I bought the one I could afford. You bought the one you could afford. It does not concern me. At least I'm not working naked. You two, you are not working naked. We are all putting on clothes. And the, 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 the main thing is we all want to look good. There are some people, they don't have much clothes. They don't have expensive clothes. But they, they really know how to combine it together. In most cases, let it to be truthful, in most cases, it's we ladies that don't always get contented. It's we ladies. It's not, the men, their life is very simple. So I'll use this medium to talk to we youth especially we youth i'm directing this topic to we youth especially to try and be contented with what we have 
clothes fade, cars get old. You would, you would always want to get the new things of life. So just try and just be contented for now. And when you have in abundance, you can get everything you really want. Though even economy said, um, the said in economy is that um, we humans, our needs is, is um, unlimited. We, we, our, me, our needs can, can never be met. All her needs can never be met. So with the, the little we can afford for now, like we, we can't really, we, the funniest part is that we can never be able to afford everything we want in life. If let's say you now have money, to the extent you are supposed to have money too. What of happiness? What of peaceful, peaceful life? They will tell you that most rich people don't sleep at night. If they are not scared about people bugging their house, they will be scared, they will be calculated till they wake up like, I have this amount here, I have this amount here. How will I make more millions? How will I make more billions? Once you have that peace, that inner peace, I believe you have it all, seriously. Once you have that inner peace. Because when you have that inner peace within you, you will be contented with everything. And everything in life works alongside contentment. If you are in an office, maybe you are okay. You, you are in an office, you're working in an office. If you're working there, if you are not contented, you would want to be the manager. No, normal, it's normal for you to want to be you to it's normal for you to always want to move forward don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's not normal but you in, what, what i what i'm really trying to bring out is that you going out of line to get what you want like doing the right thing in the wrong time that is what i really mean what i really mean is you doing the right thing in the wrong time let's be contented with everything you have and i wish you the best in life as you are being contented with all you have Thank you so much for staying by to watch this episode to the end with me. I really appreciate your support and um, I wish you the best in everything you do. Bye. See you.